In this presentation, we're going to see how to use service item for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, we look at how to create service item manually, then how to create them automatically from sales shipment. We look at intangible service items and where can we use them. So let's go in the service module on the list service item and we create a new so we're going to create manually a service item we can select from one of our existing items so let's say it's the it's a server and a service item so it's part of the server group a service item is an individual item so we can indicate a serial number you don't have to but it's possible let's fill some of the information so the response time priority that's the warranty date for the parts and we're going to serve that at uh, free of charge whereas the labor we're going to do it at 50 percent discount here who can serve this item linda is indicated as a, as a skilled resource let's look why is that so on linda skills she is able to look at PCs, accessories, PC software, PC ser servers and because the item has been recorded as a server on the server we have also some skills needed to be service and because Linda has all the skills required system tell us she is the one that could take care of that we can indicate a customer and where the item is physically so and let's say that this server is in, is the, in the IT room of Park Road we can indicate a vendor number so if it has been bought from another company and some contract information we'll see that later some price and costing installation date so let's say we've installed that one on the 1st of January an item, a service item could have some components that could be service items themselves or just items. And we could have some indication on how to troubleshoot that item. So now, instead of creating it manually, we'll see how to create them automatically from a sales shipment. So let's assume that we are also selling this server and we're going to sell three of them to the Canon group. And this item has been recorded with a service item group to automatically create service item so it's part of the setup we're going to say to give some uh, serial number so we're setting three servers and we'll indicate which serial numbers we're setting Okay, three serial numbers. Good, and now we can post the shipment.
So now let's go back to our service item list and we should have three new service items with their individual serial number. So again service items are individual items whereas we have the generic ser server in our system as item and here we can see the serial number and we could perfectly go back and find it when it has been uh, shipped when it has been received so if we put a f if we would put a filter on the serial number we have the link with the uh, sales purchase module now let's like have a look at intangible service item so far we have created a physical product so it's a server it could be anything like uh, you want to uh, to repair or so white goods lift elevators that could be very uh, versatile but you, we could use also service item for intangible intangible services so let's say we have a, a service for hotline that's a standard hot, hotline we we give a, a response time within a day and that's for one year hotline for one year free of charge and let's create another intangible service item that would be pretty much the same with but with a gold service that give you a better response time so it's 24 hours a day seven days a week so here we don't indicate any item number four hours response time priority is high and obviously no part number but labor is free of charge and so that could be included we're going to see that in a contract so we can indicate a default value so far for a contract we're supposed to sell that at one thousand dollars so let's see where we can use service items now as we started to see we can use service items in contracts so this one has a contract already we can navigate on it see the full contract that has several service item so here we can indicate also some service period so every three months we need to do some preventive maintenance on that one and we could create some service order so let's say we need to uh, maintain that item or you could also create some service order so it's like a repair if we've got a if we have a call from uh, our customer we indicate the customer we can say his particular location and here we have a list of what we uh, service for him indication on how to uh, repair that and so on.